I'm just going to run you through my current bike setup. Um, kit I've got on it. This is the 2015 Pinnacle Arcos 4 from Evan Cycles. These frames are designed by James Olsen, who also designs uh, Genesis. So, it's a decent frame, nice relaxed geometry on it. Okay, so let's get started. So, up front, got the 11 speed RS685 shifter. This is 11 speed hydraulic. It's got a sort of like a carbon finish to it. I don't know if you can see that or not like it. So it's almost like Ultegra level. Uh, and yeah, they've been great. Incredible braking on them. These come with the Shimano Ice Tech rotors. And for some reason they've put the RS785. I don't know if you can see that. 785 caliper. I upgraded them to the cooling fin resin pads because the, the ones that came with it were, were pretty basic pads. But if you keep these dry and you know put a bit of alcohol on them every now and again, wipe them down, uh, they'll, they'll do fine. Uh, carbon fork there, a lot of clearance for a mudguard or a cross tyre. I've gone with the hard shells at the moment because I'm just commuting on the road. It's a bit more efficient. Uh, these hard shells, 28s, are incredible. Jesus Christ. Dog. Got the. Oh my god. Pretty sure he's going to come through the fence. 120 mil Dita Sten. I've not slammed it just in case. Anything happens to my back, and I can pop it up a bit. A little Garmin uh, out front mount there. Uh, Lazine, Lazine Light, Zecto Drive. We've got the Toupee Saddle uh, 143, I think that is. This measures up as a 54. It actually says it's 51, but 54 is usually um, for anyone up to about 510. Also, these little Jaguar things. So when you turn the cables, well, turn the handlebars, uh, the cables don't like rub up against the frame, which is nice. Internal cable routing as well there. Uh, then you've got the rear brake hose coming underneath the frame. So onto gearing, I've swapped the chainsaw out for the new 105. 5800 stuff. Uh, that is a compact. Yeah, compact there. Uh, Shimano. Uh, also, yeah, new 105. Um, front derailleur. Yeah. It's got a better leverage, I think, for, for shifting. Um, up and down, it's got like a longer. Um, Whole arm, would you call it an arm? Not too sure. Um, pedals gone with the Trail XT. Uh, so clip on one side, flat on the other. Chain, 11 speed KMC chain with the, gone with the, like, the gold quick link uh, just to see where it is, it's just a bit easier. Garmin cadence sensor there. Uh, 105 medium cage. Do -do -do -do. And that will fit a 3211, which is nice for hills. You know, uh, you can more or less just spin up anything. Be it 20%, you can you can get up most most sort of hills. Uh, we've got some just an inner tube and some electrical tape just to save the frame. Should I do any like cyclocross or? Any gravel rides and the, the chains like bouncing about, um, and the wheels the, they're okay, but I'd definitely that, that's probably the, the downfall to the bike is the wheels. Uh, I've had a couple of spokes go on the back when I've had like a bit of weight on the back, and 
I've had to change the bearings in them. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward when you know what you're doing, but it's, it's probably a professional job. And yeah, just basic cages on the FWE from also from Evans. So yeah, definitely, definitely rate this bike. It's been great. I'm actually in the process of selling it for something with a bit lower gearing for a tour, but that's about it. Yeah. So there you have it. Um, it's my review of the Pinnacle Arcos 4 2015. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Cheers.